Hello, welcome to Econometrics Melody. In this tutorial, we'll deal with the commands assert, clone, var, and compare. These are very useful commands. Let's begin with this main data interface active each time. Press Ctrl A for activating data editor and Ctrl 9 for activating tool file. So let us prepare our data and then let us see, describe them, the variable A and B. A and B, they are float and we're going to learn about the command recast and compress before we finally delve into our actual tutorial of assert, clone, var, and compare. So recast, if you see the variable A is float and in order to save memory, you can recast this variable as an integer type. Now if you see recast integer and recast integer B and force, okay, you can use the command for force. Let us recast again the variable D and if we describe A, B, C, D, you will know this is integer and float and a string. Let us compress the variables if possible and you see these changes. This will further save the memory and this will allocate the variables their appropriate memory size. The command comp compress will allocate the appropriate memory size for variables and let us format them. This is very simple. Now let us see our command assert. Assert actually it verifies the truth of claim and A is greater than 15 or equal to 15. Let's see whether it's true or false. A is not greater than equal to 15. Variable A is greater than equal to 15. Not all the variables are greater or equal to 15. Let us see the next one. Variable D it contains him. It's true. It contains him. All if you see the string variable D it contains him. And if you write A is not equal to 90, is it true? Yes, it's true. A is not equal to 90. Okay, and if you, for the verification, if you say this, you can describe also and see the range. Otherwise, you see A is something between 30 or equal to 30. Okay. And A is less than equal to 12. Is this true? No. A is not less than or equal to 12. B is greater than or equal to A. Again, this is false. And uh, so all the observations of A should actually comply with this statement in order to be true, else it will be false. So B is greater than or equal to A, if you see, no. And assert C is greater than or equal to this function, 9 times A plus 12 times B. This is false again. And assert B is less than or equal to C and C is greater than or equal to A. So this is again false. And if you write A is, if you write this again, control C, B, and if you want to write A is greater than, let's say less than or equal to 90, this should be true. So 30, this is true. So this is a very simple command. Now let's go to our next command, clone where that should create our next variable by cloning it even on based on this given condition clone where we are going to create a variable e after cloning the variable d if a is greater than or equal to 15 and a is less than or equal to 25. so for this condition we have e we are going to clone, clone a variable d and create a variable e so this is true again let us see what is. we are going to clone a variable b and create a variable g if a is less than or equal to b do we see this actually let us on this and this is the display so these values all these values of variable g they are less than b let's drop this variable called g and try other variation drop cd also we don't need this and then let us see we're going to record b okay that does not affect our understanding and we're going to generate a variable okay gender and clone variable c Generate a variable C after cloning gender if A is less than or equal to B. So this is very simple. Now let us go to our next command called compare. This will compare the results of two variables. So let us make certain changes and let us try to compare this. Compare gender equals to C. Control D. So gender is less than C. There are five counts. And gender is equal to C. There are 16 counts. And C is missing six counts. Now let me compare the variables a and b and let me compare a and b so this is the result there are 16 observations in which a is less than or equal to b 
and their minimum average and maximum is also displayed. There are 11 observations in which A is greater than B. Total In total, we have 27 observations and there's not any valid missing value. Okay. Now, before we leave, let us see a command called ISID. This will help you identify the unique identifier. Is variable A a unique identifier? Does this uniquely define this data? No, there may be some repetitions. And let us see, is B? No, B also does not qualify to be a unique identifier. Gender, this also obviously does not qualify. Is C? No, C is also not a unique identifier. Let us create a unique identifier, a sequence. And if you see the variable D is a sequence that does not overlap or match, it is a sequence. And this should be, this should qualify for being a unique identifier. And you see, yes, we get a result. If you don't encounter an error, this means this is true. That statement is true. Please take your time in understanding this. This is it for this tutorial. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you very much, Econometrics Melody.